Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I have a video on how to add a secondary hard drive to your Acer Aspire E15 E5 575 series laptop. Uh, you can do this on the uh, 53VG, you can do this on the 57D4, I have the 57D4 here. They are both the same. Uh, they come with an M.2 SATA drive, uh, which is 256 gigabytes, uh, but they also leave a bay open that is just begging for you to put in a secondary hard drive, be it mechanical for extra storage uh, for music and movies or even games, uh, but or an SSD drive, which is what I'll be doing today. Now, you can get the kit the mounting kit off of Acer's website. It's 42.gden7.sv1. You can get it on the website for $8. They don't supply this with the laptop, so you do have to order it from their store, but it is only $8, so you can grab that. Comes with the drive uh, casing itself and then four screws. You will have a link in the description below where you guys can check it out. First thing we're going to want to do is flip over the laptop. Now, if you've watched my review on the RAM upgrade, you're going to know that these three screws are the only ones that we're going to have to remove. And what we will do is we will use a Phillips Zero screwdriver. Uh, that will access the three screws for the back panel. And that back panel will get us into where you can look at the M.2 drive. You can look at upgrading your RAM. You can look at that empty bay where we can put in the second hard drive. Now, upcoming, I will have another video on how to remove the DVD drive and use a ODD caddy to add a third hard drive. If you guys really want to go crazy and add a third hard drive uh, and you don't need that DVD drive. You're going to see on the right hand corner here that we have a tab to get your fingernail in and you're just going to want to pull that tab up uh, and release the tabs to access this. Now as you can see uh, in the middle we have our M.2 drive, uh, 256 gigabyte that comes standard on these uh, and then you're going to have your RAM. Of course I've already upgraded mine to 16 and then on the left hand side our drive bay which we'll be upgrading today to add that secondary hard drive. Now it's um, very important to get this mounting kit, and there's a reason why. I'll show you in just a second. What we're going to be doing is just using a PNY 240 gigabyte, uh, you know, six gigabytes uh, SSD drive here, uh, and I'm going to be adding that. I'm probably going to order a larger one for this particular laptop because I am enjoying the performance on it. Now, if you set this in by itself, you can see it wiggles around, uh, it moves, uh, and that that's what this kit will do is take care of that problem. Because uh, over time, I mean, it can sit in there like that, and you probably could wedge something in there if you wanted to. Um, but you wouldn't want to do that for a long period of time because it may wiggle out. You know, it may rattle if you're, uh, you know, doing a bunch of things. Uh, and this kit with this nice Mylar tab on it will screw into the sides with the four screws and secure it in the bay uh, the way we want it to. So we'll take this drive out. And it's a very simple process. You're going to get a secondary bag with four screws and you are going to want to uh, take these screws out, put them on something. I have a towel down so I don't scratch the laptop. Uh, it also keeps the screws from going anywhere as well. Uh, and what we're going to do is take this uh, portion of the kit and slide it over the drive. So you're going to want to make sure that that tab is facing towards your connectors. Uh, as you can see, it's facing kind of towards the right, and it's, of course, up uh, so that you can use it to pull the drive in to the connector. Uh, and then you're just going to line up the screw holes here and start screwing the screws in. Very simple, easy to do. Uh, you just make sure they are tiny, so it's going to take a couple tries to kind of just make sure they're threaded correctly. Uh, do not force them. Just make sure that they are firm. You don't have to over-tighten them as well. So we'll go around and we'll do these four uh, screws. Uh, normally, I would fast forward through this, but it is only four screws, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, only takes about 20 seconds to get these in. 
and then I'll show you how it slides in uh, and is pretty much protected. Make sure that when you do the second portion uh, that you uh, kind of push it over or you won't be able to line up the screw holes correctly. Uh, and again, uh, they are small as you can see, so they can become troublesome while you're trying to install them. But uh, overall, not hard to do at all. So once we get these set up, I'll slide this into the drive bay. Uh, you'll see uh, the difference between with the bracket uh, kit and without. Uh, and it's a huge improvement. It's designed very well. It's low priced and it works perfectly. Uh, so it's definitely a worthy $8 upgrade uh, to secure your hard drive, whatever size you may put in. Uh, I will probably change mine from a 240 gigabyte to something like a 500 or a terabyte uh, just for games uh, installs so I don't have to keep swapping out games and that type of thing. You'll notice on the corners there's lots of protection. That tab again is great for pulling this in. Now if you set this on the itself uh, just flat it's not going to go into the drive bay you have to insert it at a 45 degree angle because you've added the uh, bulk of the actual drive tray itself so then once it's in you just pull the tab towards your connector and it's lined up perfectly and it slides right in and it's now in and rock solid there is no problems with it holds in perfectly does not move a millimeter so that is pretty much how you do it. Then you just reverse your steps, very simple. Uh, put your uh, plate back on and your three screws uh, and then you're good to go. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this upgrade for the Acer Aspire E15 E5 575G series laptop. Again, it will work on the 53VG. It does work on the 57D4, as you saw that I just did. Um, leave some comments, any questions or comments. Uh, uh, if you have any problems ordering from Acer, you can leave those down there as well. I'll try to help you out the best I can. But you will have that link down there. Uh, takes all of about five minutes to do the upgrade, and you are good to go. So, Again, thanks for checking in. If you guys have any other things you want to see on the Acer Aspire laptop, please leave those comments below and I will try my best to do those for you. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and I'll check you guys out on the next video.